Very, I played this on a Windows 95 demo disc or something back when I was a kid, and I fucking loved it. What's really hilarious is that I don't really know. I actually did a YouTube video on this game series. I made a I made an anal, 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 analysis video on the Aldo series. So I know them pretty well. Also, Yahoo Software, not actually associated with Yahoo.com. I think. I don't know, actually. Ladder screens user permission from Yahoo Software. I don't know. It's weird. It's not a lot of information on who, who made this game. So, uh, I think it's just arrow keys. Or, yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, I'll just. Let's see here. I hope we have sound. I don't know if we do. Okay, no, I'm sorry. This is a game that doesn't possess sound. I just remembered. So, uh, yeah, it's Donkey Kong, and we have, I guess, Hispanic Mario. Um, Aldo. And for some reason, I really like this game. I still do, actually. It's not a bad game, really. It's, it's, it's wonky as shit. I'll, I'll say that much about it, but it's not a bad game. It's actually, you know, it basically does something that I wish, like, the original Donkey Kong did. Also, you can erase your score and your counter by just jumping at it. Like, look at this. The problem is the barrel dispenser there, it just, it just drops barrels when it wants to. Also, it's actually little, legitimately hard to pick up the treasure at the end. Yeah, this is an old DOS game. It's, 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 it's actually quite... It's a good emulator, actually. Good... But yeah, it's, uh, what I wish Mario, uh, what I, what I always wanted out of Donkey Kong, like, I actually kind of like Donkey Kong, like the original Donkey Kong, I always wished there was more levels with more designs and more layouts. This game kind of delivers on that. It starts out pretty much similar, but it gets really creative later, actually. But yeah, like, collectibles are, like, physical objects, and you have to kind of work to pick them up. You gotta, like, push yourself into them and kind of, like, I want this. Ugh, ugh. Oh no. Bad timing. YouTube poops have DOS games in them? I don't know what you're talking about. I've never, but yeah, I never saw anybody talk about them, which is why I made YouTube videos on them, because I was like, Here's an obscure thing that just got lost the time that nobody ever knows and talks about, but I don't know. I think it's worth talking about. It's a good clone. It's actually fun to play. It's a little unfair, sure. Like, I don't know when the fuck these tires are going to come out, so every jump is a leap of faith, but you know. Yeah. Shovel was optional. Here's Ghost Town. Here's where it gets creative and weird. Like, here's a platform I can land on. Also, that red stuff will kill you, but you kind of have to muck around to it for a bit for it to kill you. Like, it doesn't kill you immediately. You gotta, like, kind of muck around it for a little while, and then eventually it'll kill you. So, like, you can hop out of it. If you're quick. Oh, speaking of being quick. Oh, not quick enough. This part basically requires either a lot of luck, or you just jump off midway. Again, physical object. You have to... Like, I was running into that, if you noticed, so... So, vanishing alley, what the trick here is, is that once you walk over this, it, it becomes a ten... It becomes... Invisible! It's actually very useful if you, uh... Oh, shit, I messed up. All gone! <laughs> when you lose, I forgot about that. When you lose, it's... All gone! I <laughs> just picture that in kind of a Mario voice. Which is the best way of saying game over. Oh, God! We give it another run.
Because I want to get to at least the next level. There's some other good ones. What wasn't as fast? Funny how much I remember about this stupid game. Because <laughs> just this old clone. But I remember so much about it. Oh, 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 Mario Teach Type. Oh my god, that is kind of similar to the Mario Teach Type voice. Oh god! Oh, that was so, so, re so stupid. I should have been able to make it do that. I think you get extra lives every so many points, too, so. Hopefully, I get some points soon. The only way to really know for sure if you're going to avoid a barrel is is if you wait for these things to spit out a ton of barrels all at once, and then you can kind of know you're safe to go. Because it only spawns so many, I think. The only way to be safe is to wait until it's spit out a number of barrels and then just go. Ugh, otherwise, you jump at the wrong time like that. <laughs> you do have a timer. 75 seconds in this one, or... 80 seconds or something when it started. But yeah, Yahoo Software made this. Which is really bizarre, because you can't try to figure out who they are. They don't exist anymore, obviously. But I can barely find any information on them besides what the title screen tells you. Two, made by two guys who like Donkey Kong, clearly. I wanted to make a broken ass version of it. Nothing wrong with that. Just just point out the obvious. Oh fuck. Yeah, I fell into the goop. It's actually a shortcut path I'm taking here. There's another way around, obviously, if you look. But, uh... This is the good one. Also, I just remember, you can't jump off ladders, so there's actually no way to... shortcut this section. Okay, that's not a death. So I can still recover. <laughs> I really like the falling animation. It's just like, okay. He falls. Oh no. This level's actually pretty hard to get through. <laughs> but it also kind of depends on just how many barrels come down. They have a they have a reprieve here, hopefully. There we go. We did it. All right, point of no return. I I think I'm the only one that's ever beaten this game. And what happens if you beat it is that you get, uh, rewarded, I guess, quote-unquote, by the game basically move all the move. Ah, okay. 